Hey folks, your Lone Guy Joe here, doing an open house this Saturday with Angel Rivas. And we'll be doing it at this property from 10 to one. So all you Tucson buyers, please come on out. Now, if you're concerned about being priced out of today's market, that's a real concern for a lot of people. But if you're looking to buy your first home, you're likely balancing several factors because both mortgage rates, as you know, and the home prices have risen this year. It costs more to buy a home than it did last year or even a few months ago. But that doesn't mean that you have to put your plans on hold. If you partner with a trusted mortgage professional, someone like me, and a trusted real estate advisor, if you don't know one, I can refer some very good ones in this area, then you can hone your home buying strategy to navigate today's market and find that dream home you're looking for. Here are two tips that will help you get started. First, work with professionals to prioritize your wish list. After I have pre-approved you for your new home, you will know, not think, but you will know how much you really qualify for and if you can afford it. By that, I mean just because you're qualified on paper doesn't mean that you can afford the cost of the new home. I always tell my buyers that I want to make sure that you're happy with your house and happy with your house payment. I like top ramen just like the other guy, but I don't want to eat it every day. And I also want you to like me and I want to be on your Christmas card list. If you're having trouble finding a home in your budget that checks all the boxes, it may be worth taking another look at what your list of what you want. Remember the Spice Girls, what you really, really want and what you really need. It's all about prioritization. If you're serious about purchasing your first home soon, be flexible in what you're looking for and to open up your pool of options and partner with a great real estate local professional to better understand what's available in today's market and reprioritize your wish list. Remember, making a concession now doesn't mean you'll never have everything on your list. After you moved in, you can always add certain item features to make your home your own. Second, increase your search radius to consider more locations. Some areas may have more homes within your target price range than others, but it may require you to be a little bit flexible on your locations. For example, if you're a remote worker, you can be able to expand your search radius. I've worked remote most of my mortgage career. I was remote before remote was cool. So if you are also able to work remote, the decision to search in places with a lower cost of living could help you find a home that best fits your budget and checks most of the boxes off your wish list. What's the bottom line? If you're serious about purchasing your home this year, revisiting your wish list and desired locations can help. So just call, text, or email me, and I will send you a copy of my Summer Home Buyer's Guide for 2022. I'm Joe Rivas, your Lone Guy Joe. I'll see you on the next video.